Hi, I'm Larry Hoff, and I'm executive producer for technology company High Speed Video, uh, and I'm also an owner, and I'm also a partner in New York production company Kindle Creative. Well, High Speed Video builds live interactive video networks for businesses and for media companies. Uh, for media companies, it's used in sports programming and news programming. We're able to link reporters and talent uh, to a studio from locations all across the country you know, using uh, HD quality uh, video transmissions. We have a uh, patent on those. Uh, for business, it's a very advanced video conferencing system. All right, my background is in broadcast television. I spent my entire career there. I've done it mainly on the talent side, also uh, producing. Uh, um, I have been on morning shows for over 20 years in New York City, and my specialty has always been going out to remote locations every day and doing you know, basically content that I created you know, for the show. I don't cover the news. We try to come up with uh, fun segments to do, and, and that was my style, and I, and I had a long, successful career doing that. Uh, what got me going with the video was that uh, I wanted to bring viewers into the show more, and we couldn't dedicate satellite trucks and microwave trucks to them. So we started exploring doing video over telephone lines, and that was a long time ago, so it was very primitive technology, but it was actually the beginning. That's where I met my partner of today. Really, there's uh, one major issue, and uh, the others all fall way far behind it. And that is getting enough money to launch a business. You know, your costs are always way ahead of your revenues on it. And you have to have a lot of capitalization to get started. You have to be able to run a long time on that money because it takes a while to get anything going. I don't care how good the idea is. It takes a lot of money to get it going. And uh, so many good ideas that are underfunded fail. And a lot of very lousy ideas that have a lot of money behind them, they succeed. It's a sad reality. That's actually the very first question you need to ask yourself in starting out. You need to know where do you guys fit in and are you going to be successful? Would anybody care? Now for us, we're in the video business. We transmit video over broadband and it's very high quality. It's a high definition broadcast quality video. So, uh, you know, we are appealing to companies and to individuals that want to use uh, video but don't want to use let's say the email system or they can't afford to use the satellite trucks and the microwave trucks so that takes us to a lot of media companies and uh, companies that are now doing video uh, over the digital space as well over their websites uh, that is becoming a very big area uh, uh, we where we possess an advantage over a lot of people is that we've been at this for a lot of years we've been with the likes of the nfl network major league baseball we just went on with uh, eBay live video auctions, uh, and now we are connecting with NBC Sports Programming uh, for all of its sports properties and having sports talk and news talk. And the reason they're coming after us, uh, uh, they like the quality of our video, but we also have 20 to 30 patents on the way that we do things, that we are able to transmit uh, from a lot of different locations simultaneously, and we're able to manage you know, those uh, different uh, video streams coming in into a studio. Um, if there is a social impact with what we do with our video over the broadband and being able to connect with media is uh, we're able to give some average people a voice uh, in a world that's pretty much controlled or filtered by the big news outlets. Uh, when it comes to the economic impact, now that's, a, you know, it's an interesting dynamic right now because, you know, we're in a world right now where uh, all media is being cut back. Everything has changed. The models have changed because the Internet has had such a very big impact on how people are getting their information today. So what we become is a very low cost alternative to some of the more expensive ways of communicating through video. My video interview with Mr. Hoff was very insightful. One of the aspects that paralleled well with the class was when he talked about making his product easily available and accessible to his customers. Another aspect that paralleled well was when he talked about the difficulties of realizing the true startup cost of your company and the difficulties in raising the funds to cover those costs until your company got on its feet. Lastly, he talked about his competitive advantage, which was a low-budget, high-quality conferencing system.